my name of my new blog is the global green book which i started to start chronalizing um my repatriation journey journey blessings blessings family so i just kind of want to um say why i started this new blog um first let me introduce myself my name is Kiddis, and I started with Tie by Kiddis, which was all about health, wellness, helping other entrepreneurs um, create a extra stream of income. I was with a company for five years, and I told myself if I didn't make it in this company, it was time for me to rethink and revamp. And so I recently um, stopped that venture, and I been really pondering, you know, especially during this whole time of quarantine, what am I going to do? What am I going to take back to the continent with me? So I decided in 2019 on my, um, my milestone that I was going to take care of me. All right. I'm on it. It's recording. Cause I'm gonna have to um. <laughs> I was gonna take care of my body, <laughs> take care of my spirit, oh, yeah. this take is care so of my good. my looks. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm really because scared. all those things <laughs> really are important for your well being. No, it's just right. Guys, when I started, so I started on this mission, you know, I'm taking the HSM, um, right? I'm going to start seeing the world. HSM and my hair was I'm going to travel across the world, travel across the United States, go to as many events, spend much as much time with my family, my children, visit friends. visit places that I've never been to, try new experiences, because I needed to figure out a way to love on myself again. Something that I, I just, I just forgot. I went to places like California, Sacramento. There are some really cute stores. That store, the garage, is really cute. They got an online store as well and I, I went so to different museums I visited so indigenous there. locations I um, traveled like to Africa I went to see different anyway, slave sites yeah, and nice, so just pondering on what do I want and I and I'm just need to do some sort of healing um, getting close to nature uh, getting in tune to my spirituality and just loving life. It's a lot of people. You know, doing this, I've experienced some really great things that I probably would have never have done. have not set on this mission. And so COVID did slow me down and I had to rethink things. Because life has a tendency to move really fast. So now I've been able to sit, be quiet with myself, reflect, and decided like, okay, go through this process. You might have to go through this process out loud because there might be other people who are going through this and that can help you figure it out because at my age, I'm still trying to figure it out, y'all. Really trying to figure it out. So I decided to take Tie by Kadis, which was my wellness blog, 
and turn it into a personal blog of my health and wellness journey. I, I have 100 pounds I'm trying to lose. I'm trying to work on my spiritual trauma, my emotional trauma, as well as be there for my, my children, uh, build my business um, in Africa, make new connections, and just try to figure out how to find me, how to find what is truly happy. And one of the things that makes me happy, I realize, is just being next to nature. Nature always put a smile on my face. How can I get back to it? And in the West, I'm going to be honest, it's really hard to do it. Only people that really can be next to nature here are people who are in the 1% because they can afford it. The rest of us have to clock in on this plantation, um, pay bills. We're living life to pay bills and we can't even have the opportunity to breathe in the fresh air, look at nature, be in tune to nature. And I notice every time that I'm in tune with nature, I, I, the, the endorphins, it just does something to me. And I do, I definitely know one of the issues why I'm having such health issues is because I, I just can't be in tune to myself. I'm giving my all to others. So I'm going to start doing this blog and I'm going to start talking to you guys. I'll probably do a couple of streamlines. You know, I'm new. Uh, you know, I don't. My channel's very small. So I'm hoping for the, my small, um, the few friends that I do have on here, that you all will join the conversation with me so that we can kind of help others. Uh, I have also my repatriation um, uh, channel. The Global Green Book, as well as my blog, um, Empress uh, Kittis, uh, dot com. But this blog, you know, I decided not to, you know, take it down, but to use it as a healing, yeah, a healing, a healing platform. And, you know, maybe we can help each other because um, I'm always, you know, not I'm always by myself. I'm always home, but I just know there's so many of us that need it and that we can help each other because I definitely know this, guys. I got to get out of here. It's time to go. It's time for me to figure out how to get to those healthy foods the clean air, nature, because for me to be a vegetarian and to live the lifestyle I, that I live, I shouldn't be this unhealthy physically. And as my naturopath, Dr. Earl Clay, and I've been sharing some of his information, he told me, he was like, the cortisol levels in your stomach due to stress is blocking you from detoxing your body, from detoxing your 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 organs are not working properly it's time to go so i d believe i will try to do a vlog on sundays and you know we'll see how it goes and see if i can actually be consistent because I'm going to be honest, guys, one of my hardest problems is consistency. Consistency is hard. I get in my little emotions, so sometimes I get in my feelings. So if I get one bad comment, I'm like, <gasps> but you know what? I'm about to go through a healing journey. And, you know, I don't have the social life that I used to. So I'm kind of like, I'm here by myself, so I'm going to talk to you guys maybe you all can help me maybe someone who is outside of my circle can give me some guidance maybe I can be some guidance I can guide you all um, in some areas because you know I am an adventurer I, you know I, I am a wanderer you know our people by nature are nomadic and I have that nomadic energy. It's hard for me to sit still. And that's probably one of the reasons why I feel so sick here because I'm stuck in an environment that is not conducive to our natural way of being. You know, 
who want who wouldn't want to be near natural natural life all the time and those of you all who love the concrete jungle you know hats off to you I, I'm just not that girl and this is not going to be your place this is not going to be where you want to be home because this channel is all about getting back to nature getting in tune to yourself